Hello again, same same Cardiff morning, although I've just had lunch now, so it's afternoon. Um, I wanted to update, there was one other thing I wanted to say that I forgot, and that is that for consultancies and professional services firms generally, where trust is all important, um, there's a good argument, and I think it's a, be a believable argument, that the next race for AI once we've done computational power, once we've done predictive machines, is going to be for intimacy. And by intimacy, I mean creating something that is going to get on better with you than your wife, that is going to be able to persuade you better than any salesperson could persuade you, that is going to be able to predict what you're going to feel like in the morning and what you'll need. Now, obviously there's huge benefits here um, for mental health, for loneliness, um, for building client relationships. And bear in mind, unless legislation is passed, your clients, or indeed anyone, will not be able to tell the difference between AI voice, AI video, AI text, than between that and a real person. So the race for intimacy is going to be a crucial one and it's not going to be long. Now, whether there's legislation that's brought in to prevent that is one thing, but it's not going to be long before at least there is the option for us all to have um, the equivalent of um, Google Nest, Google Home, um, Alexa, that is gets on better with us than our best friends, understands us, and knows what our buttons are, knows what we're thinking of. And that is an implication that we need to be thinking about. Because if consulting firms are highly dependent on the trusted relationship between clients and people, then what happens when AI can do that better than we can?